Hello and I welcome back to my video about Nox.js. In this video I will speak about plugins. I think there should be three main reasons for plugins you need to know here in the basic before you go in deeper for using plugins. The first is you build on external plugins. It's meaning you include the plugin directly in your page. The next is you need to use a Vue.js plugin. And the last is how you can build your own simple plugin so you can inject uh, in cross on your project. So let's let first start to to go for the page uh, external plugin. If we're taking the about side and going for the JavaScript section, this uh, project when we do uh, this, we install the X, uh, AX iOS. And what we need to do here is basically, whoops, basically just uh, import it. Uh, so what I'm doing here is just import xaos from x axeos, and here we go. Sorry. And when you have this done, it's it cannot load, right? So just say this one, npm install, um, say axeos, and then we install the external plugin for npm we can use. This will take a little bit time. I know we already have it installed uh, inside our project, so so that's fine. Um, and then if you need to use it, you can uh, build your function here, uh, async, uh, async data params, and here you get access for it. You can just say let data equal to a weight. And then we go. This is just a sample, this will not do it working out of the box. But it's still giving you an example how you can uh, work with external uh, plugins. It's very easy as you see. Then, then the next one will be how we can uh, work with the with the view plugin. First I need to install the view plugin to, to demonstrate. So npm install save view notifications. I'm, I just need uh, one more here, that's fine. And when it's done, we need to create a file here. You can call it view notification.js. Inside here, we want to say import view from view. And then import view notifications from view notifications. Here we go. And then you say view views. Uh, new notifications. And that's easy to, to enable the plugin from view. And to be sure it's working, you need to go for your Nox configuration file. And here where you can see the plugins, you just uh, use this and the square brackets and Plugins notification, and then you are ready to go. Then you can get access for this. The last one will be how we can build your your own plugin, and that's simple too. We can just create it here to so say hello uh, world. 
and then we can the first we need to do is again import view from view and then we need to extend to prototyping prototype and what should we call it hello world is equal to string and console log hello world And then we can go back for for view here, and we can just for funny. Use this one and say this. Hello world. And then it will print uh, the console message hello world. That's the three uh, thing about uh, the plugins. I mean, you need to know before you can go. Uh, for the next step of course you can do a lot of more plugins but take a step by step and learn this first and then continue in the next one thank you for watching if you have any uh, questions please make them uh, in the comment below i hope you want to subscribe my channel and like my videos share them with your friends and of course add them to your playlist so you can find me again thank you for subscribing and see you next time